Today on Let's Play Mystical Ninja Starring Goemon, we're gonna take down Ben K once and for all. By beating the shit out of him. Right? Pretty much. <laughs> now, now he knows that we want to fight him, because he's a warrior at heart. <laughs> I'm waiting for the background. You all! <laughs> Kong -kong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, so, oh, narration! Using the Achilles heel, we have to pretty much bowl him over the bridge. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> and it's really hard to do. Really hard? Really hard to do. Oh, okay. So hard. <laughs> well, yeah, when you aim for his Achilles heel in the back, I guess. So, if he... If you fail in 45 seconds, he knocks you off the bridge and laughs at you. That's it? And it has to do with how Ushiwaka defeated Benkei because he's been claiming swords and he needed like a thousand swords and Yoshitsune would have been his thousand one. And never mind. Point is, here's Sasuke. Duh. What? It's Sasuke. So he stole our friend. No. He was our friend. He was our friend. Mechanical he's ninja. Dead. Raiden. When Wise Man's house exploded last episode, Sasuke got flown over here. Oh, got uh, it! It's all fitting together! So now we have Sasuke's body, but he has no power. Batteries. Batteries, which give him power. Because now he's, he's in our party, and now he shows up on the overlay, but we can't use him yet. <laughs> I want to think you switch to his body. He just lies there and you can't do anything. You game essentially break the Yes, <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> no, the game! <laughs> That's just something you, you tell to a first-time player. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sw switch to Sasuke. Use him. Aw, oh, you suck. I love this song more than life itself. Oh, really? Turn it up. Yeah. Well, here we have the Yamato Shrine which we can't get into yet. And what leads to that is a pretty confusing uh, little bit of nonsense that we got to do for most of this episode. God, I do love this song. I know. Yeah. This, this soundtrack is incredible. So, we'll head in here first, even though we shouldn't have, to the bamboo forest of Yamato. Pretty self-explanatory, you know, there's just dudes here. It's just a straight shot through. Tell me, what is the significance of this name? What name? The name of this forest. Bamboo Forest? Yes. You cannot see it around you? No. Like, are you are you being serious? <laughs> no, I just wanted to see what you'd say. <laughs> well, it's because there's a lot of oak trees around here. <laughs> no! Now we are at Awaji Island, which is where our next stop, but we don't need to be here just quite yet. Just because there's still a few things we got to do at the other part of the bamboo forest, which is what I forgot to show you. Yeah, so you're, hey. you're just showing off the maple forest, you know, showing off the uh, the maps. I forgot there was a map. Yeah, see, right does your map. I think. Yeah. I love maps that are just straight lines. <laughs> there is no reason for the map. But where do I go? <laughs> I got lost. So there's a second path that we take into the bamboo forest. Ah, okay. A very important path as well, I may add. Because we have more dolls in store now. Yes! Get them heart pieces. This is the turtle stone of the bamboo forest. This is, like, going to be all dolls all the time from now on, pretty much. Really? Yep. We got a stone in the center that looks like a turtle and four places to push it. The, ma the, the power of the east takes you to the magical red gate that will take you to a new land. We'll start with that and push it down there. Yeah, push that shit, yeah. And uh, the significance is just opening up new... Uh, oh! Takes you to other places in Awaji Island, so you go through that red gate. And now uh, we're on a boat! Wow! Oh, wow. Well, we're on a boat. That's... Oh, wow. In the middle of nowhere... Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, that's the soft crash of the game. <laughs> that's a soft walk. <laughs> hmm. Well, this is the husband and wife rocks. Hmm. 
Don't mind me, I'm acting a little confused here. And the significance is goodies? There's no significance in this boat, so I'm just gonna fade out of that. And with the power of editing, we're back. Yes, we are. So now we're gonna head up to the Husband and Island Rocks, is what they're called. The Husband and Island Rocks? Husband and Wife. There we go. Because <laughs> they're joined by a big rope and all that, and it's actually a real thing in Japan, I think. Uh, that's what I thought. I could have sworn I've heard this being a real thing, or at least something equivalent to it. This game should be included with a Japan tour guide. <gasps> that would be amazing. You know, play your way to the next tourist spot. If any, well, if any game needed an HD remake, this is a game that needs one. Or at least, you know, same team. I know it wouldn't happen, but just... Silver Fortune Doll at the top of these rocks. Okay. Trying to give my input on how this should be redone using you guys is not still a fortune doll. I was answering your question earlier, and you were asking the significance. Oh. So now we're back here. Awaji Island. Where is here? Awaji Island. Uh, that's where we went to the first, the first time. The power of the bamboo stone brought us here. The, the turtle stone brought us here. I mean. So now we'll head to the coffee shop. Because again, coffee shops are very important. Missing a little bit of stamina, so let's refill that. Did you ever figure out if this was, like, a cultural difference? Like, they had to change this for the U.S. release? Yeah, probably, because it says ramen on the outside. Instead of what? Coffee. Oh, well. Yeah, just a ramen shop where you can go and get noodles and leave. I wish there were, <laughs> there were places like that in the U.S. So now we're going to head back to the bamboo forest, and we'll just fade out of that. One side down, three to go. Let's go to the next one. So you have to do all of these to get the goodies, or is there, a, like, a story significance? Uh, there's no story significance, but if you want to get all the fortune dolls, you do. Makes sense. And we do want all the fortune dolls, so we will. Now, do they, like, increase in difficulty, or what are we talking here? Is it just literally, here's four fortune dolls, I'll make you work a little bit for them? One of them you don't. So, to open the shrine, we need to push... This stone to the north. Or was that the south? I don't know, whatever. The so, now, so now that's open. The next level? Not really the next level, it's just inside the shrine. <laughs> Jitter your way up the ladder. Still works. And if you look there, fortune oh. doll. Uh -huh. This one's a little tricky to get. So you think that maybe you can just drop down from up here and just nab it like, like that, right? Mm, so here we go, and... Nope. Oh, that was just a little bit to the right. Dag. I think I can see how you would do it. Is there any other way to get it? Uh, not that I, not that I know of, but there's a trick to it. You just need to mo maneuver yourself a bit on this corner here. You right, so even... I'll, just, I'll just go to that corner and I'll just drop down. No problem, I'll land right on it. Nope. No, no, you won't. What you gotta do is a little tricky. You gotta jump. You, you gotta you gotta walk off, and then you gotta immediately push back on the control sticks. So that way you alter your momentum, so you fall back and get the get the doll. I miss 3D games like this. I know, right? With little collectibles that you just have to like finagle things. Oh, I was you can't wondering. Crawl underneath it. Nah, no, no, no. No, no, no. I bet Sasuke could. I never tried that. Well, he has no batteries right now. Just toss oh. his corpse down there. <laughs> Here, Sasuke! <laughs> Did you get it? Great, I can't get him now. <laughs> Game soft lock. Bye, Sasuke! <laughs> but there's still more shrine to explore. And I really sometimes hate 3D games, sometimes. <laughs> You'll see why. Gosh, they're so monotonous. Not really a whole lot in terms change. of here, except for really treacherous jumps. Oh. Highly treacherous jumps. So, oh. So we'll go with Go to make sure that shit doesn't happen. Oh, God. You. You. But like I said, we're not gonna die. We're gonna you, fall, you, though. You, you, you. Probably gonna fall a lot. You are so lucky this game has no fall damage. Any other game, you would have been dead by now. <laughs> Well, actually, in Goemon's Great Adventure, that would have killed him. <laughs> 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 
See, I like the realism of this game. It's totally like Japan. <laughs> Japanese people don't take fall damage. <laughs> well, no, that's why they're ninjas. Oh, that's right. Remember? All right, for real. There. Oh, finally. And, okay, okay, for real. For real. Okay. You, 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 Just believe in yourself. Say it enough and it'll work. For real. We got two special surprises here. First one is at the end there, which we'll try and go and get. I can't turn the camera enough to see what's yep. on the other one. Yep. <laughs> this is a surprise pack. Also a one-up. Oh, cool. We're not going to die. By die, I mean game over, of course, but you know. But, I don't know, we'll, we'll try for no deaths either. I can't wait. So that's another fortune doll, too. And that's all we need in here. <laughs> Love that no-fall damage. Oh, that that is really cool. Because, like, I'm just thinking any other game I've played, you, there would be a splat noise at the end. <laughs> Whoa! Pfft! Ah! Pfft! All right. God, if you two down, two to fall, go. Fall off a two foot rising in Conquer's Bad Fur Day, you burst into pieces. <laughs> no shit. No shit. It's way too easy to die from fall damage. No, I've had like way too fall damage, and, and he's a squirrel of all things. <laughs> I don't get he that. Should have, he should have no fall damage. All right. It's the power of the south. The lucky cat will drop into your lap. What could that possibly mean? I have a strange feeling it means this is the easiest f silver fortune doll to get in the game. I don't know. The one in the castle was easy, but yep, there it is. Well, now we can't move that stone again, so we got to reset the map. Oh, map resetting. <laughs> I miss it. Or I guess respawning enemies. Well, and map there's, resetting. There's no enemies in here, though. I know. Just the enemy oh. of, I don't know, patience. Well, I'm thinking, are there respawning enemies in this game? Well, uh, when you clear a room, yeah. So I'm thinking, is the turtle considered like an enemy? Is that how they had to program it in order for it to work properly? I don't think it's an enemy. I think it's just a reset in the flag. Well, that, oh, okay, yeah. So, what's on the west? Money. How much money? All the money. All the money? Every money? Well, I mean, you have enough money to beat the game. Well, what's a little more gonna hurt? <gasps> yeah. Oh. Bonk! Ow! You ever, oh, you it's ever drop a Rio from the end? So State much building? money, the game is starting to lag! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't uh, even handle it! Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Creepy face. Greed makes everything slow down. And then I pushed it to the west. And then... Alright, let's go back to Key. I meant Key Awaji Island. That's what I meant. Oh, okay. So, we got all the silver fortune dolls from the bamboo forest. But there's still one more here yet to get. <laughs> See that building up at the top there? Is that where it is? That's our destination. Yeah. Sweet. Where we're heading next. But first... Look at all that cash. I know, we got so much money. We're living like a 1% here. Practically ruining the economy. <laughs> Silver fortune doll down there. Uh, the entire Japanese economy destroyed by one ninja. How many have we got in this episode? <laughs> like 10? I don't know. There's only 45, so... Sometimes it's gonna be like a, uh, an episode where we get a whole bunch of them, and some of them we might not get any. Are some of them missable? Uh, there's a point in the game where you can leave and you can never come back. Hmm. So all of them are technically missable. Okay. But I don't think any of them are, like, you only have like one chance to get like, them. And then, yeah, story missable. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a thing. This is a tour guide. A <sighs> tourist center. Oh my god. But, and, and tour guide via dragon. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, yeah. Dude. But unfortunately, their dragon is under a mind control device. Huh? 
So we're going to go on the dragon, and we're going to defeat this mind control device, and we're going to ride on a dragon. Whoa. God, does he have rigor mortis? You'd, you'd think. Now he's just got a bad back. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, the now he's moving. You can fall off the dragon. Okay. <laughs> that was my next question. You, are, you can fall off the dragon, which means that you just fall, like, back. You just go start again. You fall so fast, you come down from the top. He catches you. Oh. Uh -huh. well, not really, but... It, oh, well. it, just, <laughs> it just counts as you falling, start off, start the level again. Oh, okay. The idea is we gotta make our way down to the end here with this, this big guy. Kind of a creepy song, too. Ha ha. Well, now. Ta da! So, story wise, children have been kidnapped from the local village to be used as dancers for their upcoming theater show. Oh, the inhumane thoughts. Oh, the inhumanity. Not the kids. Not the clowns. So, this is not the device talking, but someone controlling the device. Oh, see, he had a face. I thought it was the machine. The machine is, is, a, is the face, but someone's communicating via the machine somewhere else. It's, oh, it's one right. of Baron's friends, Colon. Baron, Colon. I'm trying to find a connection, I don't see it. You'll see the connection later on. Okay. Well, uh, the idea is he's going to spin around really fast shoot out balls. This is the easiest time to fall off because the dragon will always be rocking back and forth. Sometimes the slope gets a little much, especially if you get hit. You know, he can push you off too. It's just best to just stay back and let him spin. And then when he stops, just hit his dumb face. Oh, it seems so difficult. Hardest game ever. I don't know how you're able to do this. I'm just that good. Oh, the 30 frames per second. Not even standing. Like, not, not even, even that. <laughs> See, he almost pushed me off there. Oh, God. I'm staying back so now. Like, oh, ah, shit. Man, he still hit you. Ow. There you go. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, shit, we're going down. <laughs> Pilot to Bombardier. Pilot to Bombardier. We got Dragon going down. I think I could see myself on there. How did you not fall off? And look, no fall damage. So, bullshit. The dragon falls right on you. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. And no fall damage. I like this song too. I like all the songs. What the fuck am I talking about? Uh, I, I was about to say, it's safe to say you like the entire soundtrack. What's been going on all this time? Is the narrator an elephant? It's Mr. Elephant. Oh. I guess they just had to find something or other to use as a narrator. But yeah, he was brainwashed to help kidnap the kids for the Peach Mountain Shoguns. So now what we gotta do is go and get him back. And he's really blaming himself for it, I guess. Was that a laugh track? You just now noticed? I've not been adding these laugh tracks. So this is kind of like a TV drama. Yeah, it's like a theater, because you had it, it's... yeah. <laughs> I had to get them for the Shogun! <laughs> wow, what a... What a bunch of assholes in the audience. So, Hot, Hot Springs. Springs is our next stop. Hot Springs. The Dogo Hot Springs in the Chugoku region. Yes, Hot Springs. There's no Hot Springs scene, sorry. I wasn't... I really want to go to a Hot Spring. I'm so tense. Well, Koryuta gives us a flute. Summon the dragon. 
Yes. Summon the dragon. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, I was just kidding. Yeah, summon the dragon. That's why coffee shops are important, because you go to coffee shops and that's what he warps you to. Sweet. Now, do you have to find the coffee shops first? Uh, well, yeah, you can't, can't just take it anywhere. You have to have been there or been at the town. Okay. So Yai gets the flute, and Ebi Samara does it because fuck him. Yeah! Ebi Samara's gonna get his treatment later on anyway. Summon the dragon, dude! That's what we're gonna do, because we're already his Yai anyway. Yes! But we can't do it inside buildings or castles or stores. Oh, okay. Only from outside. Makes sense. That's always the common rule. I mean, if you want a dragon just busting through the coffee shop, this is going to be awesome! <laughs> you rang? <laughs> so, let's go try it out. We'll go ahead and change the weapon. Play the flute. Press B if you want to cancel it, in case you accidentally do that instead of attack with your sword. You woke up Snorlax! We can go to just about anywhere that we need to. So we'll just go to the Oedo Castle just to show it off. I'm also conveying something that I didn't know before, but, uh... They, uh, the dragon took you to the other side. I thought they brought you back to the mainland, but they really didn't. Hmm. He does this little animation, and then... Does is this a loading screen? Maybe. Just a transitional shot, but yeah, that's how the dragon works, and now we're good to go, and we can save right here. Nice. And next time on Let's Play Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon, we're going to be doing some more stuff. Yay.